everyone. How are you today? Um, I have a few things I wanted to look over. Um, diamond paintings that came in, unbox whatever's in this crazy thing. It feels styrofoamy, and I got a special gift give to me from family members that uh, it's really special to me to share with you. And um, stick with me and you'll be able to see what it is. First things first, let's do this crazy looking thing here. Um, I, can't remember. I can't remember what it is. <laughs> Um, I'm having to use big scissors, my kitchen scissors, because I can't find my little bitty ones. They're probably around here. I lose things. Yeah, I do. I lose things. I had taken my little scissors in there to open up a package that um, ended up not being mine. It's a uh, neighbor's. <laughs> I didn't look. I was like, I know I didn't, because I, I get so many packages in that... Um, you know, it's just normal. And I had ordered something from QVC. Um, and two boxes came. I knew I had ordered two different, two things. And they were huge boxes. But, you know, they, they put little bitty things in huge boxes now. You know? And it was heavy. I was like, well, I know I didn't order anything big and heavy from this place. So, when I opened it up, I, and I definitely knew then I didn't order that, and so um, I looked at the, I said, I bet they have delivered this to the wrong person. So, I looked, and it's one of my neighbors, and I felt so bad, you know, Lara, why didn't you look first at the address when you were questioning you know, all that stuff, and, and she's very sweet. I know her. I've known her since I was little, so um, it should be fine. I've, I'm going to be dropping it off at her house today. So, <laughs> my scissors disappeared from that point. So, yes, I lose things, and I just hope my grandchildren haven't found them and hid them from me. <laughs> that wouldn't be a good thing, would it? Mm-mm. No. Nope. So, anyways, let's get into this. It's real foamy. It's weird. It's weird. It's like there's two boxes in here. I think there's two things in here. So, um, and it's taped. That's tape, I do believe. All that yellow is tape. Right? Yeah. So, I'm, I found a little opening right here. So, I'm going to try to... Look at that. Oh, dear. I do not want... The last thing I want is to, maybe I should have took a picture. The last thing I want is this stuff going all over the place. You know what I mean. You know what I'm talking about, that old foam stuff, and it's all bent in. Look, look at this. Look at this. I was like, well, maybe I should have took a picture of it before... I opened it just in case whatever's inside the foam is broke. But I'll, I can get it off the, the, footage. Get off the footage. So, see how that... Oh, I do not want snow. We don't want it to snow in my house even though it would be nice for Christmas and Thanksgiving and all that, but... This weekend, we'll be going, I, I have a trip planned to a very special place, and I may take my camera and do some vlogs there for you to see. I don't know if you would care to see it, but I'll look. It's not too bad. It's not coming off too bad, but oh my goodness. <laughs> Do you see what's in there? 
is a toy, and I hope it didn't crack, but inside this little ball is a baby doll. Can you see the little baby in there? Is a little baby in there? Grandbabies, or grandbaby uh, Scarlet's gonna love that. That's a pink one. There's three, okay. And I am getting the, some of this little. Is it snowing? I don't know, it looks more like lice. <laughs> I don't know. There's a blue one. We don't want no lice, heavens. Ain't nobody want no lice. You see that? And they got their little blankets in there. And I'll put up, once I get this one out. Oh, is this another blue one? It's a little different. I think. It's got its little bit. It's got its little dress on. This one is a little different than this blue one. See, this one's got its little blankie with it. And then this one's got the little dress and the little headband. And they're all in these little, these little things. I think she's going to like them. More stocking stuffers. And what I was trying to say on my last video that I don't recommend, and I never did finish my sentence. You know how I am. I'm really bad about that. Um, I don't recommend ordering now for stocking stuffers from AliExpress. Um, it's right here in November. Some of these was ordered September the 30th. I think this was ordered. one of them that was... I'm sorry, I'm not on the camera. One of them was ordered September 30th. I, I mean, what these and the other keychains ones that I just did right not the very very last video but the one before um, and what I was trying to say is I don't recommend ordering now um, I would have ordered at least August or October or September um, and you should have gotten them this and now I've gotten them in now so from 30 September 30 30th, September 29th, September 30th, I just now got these in. Now, the diamond paintings seem to get here faster than the merchandise. And it just depends on the store and if they have... I'm, I'm going to be forever getting rid of this snow. This foam snow. Um, anyways, I'll put up how much these were when I ordered them right now. Okay. Um, I'm going to try to give a little bit more time, uh, a few more seconds of looking at the products or the diamond paintings before I put up the original picture because I must be putting them up too quick and you really can't get a good look at the, the canvas. Um, and I apologize for that. Uh, whenever I'm doing it, sometimes I'm in a hurry and... Um, I'm not paying attention and I'm not being considerate of you. So, yeah, I'm so worried that you, some of them doesn't come across very well. Um, and so I, I'm like, put the picture up so that way they can see what it's going to be. So I will hold off on that a little bit. Okay. A little longer for you. Thank you for that feedback. Um, anything that I do that needs to be improved, please let me know. That would be great because a lot of times I don't know what you're thinking. I try to, I try to, you know, make it well worth your while because you're taking your time out of your day to spend with me. And if I'm not doing it good enough to where it's, uh, you know, worth it, then that's on me. I really appreciate the time you do take out of your day. To spend with me that's that's just really nice now this one did come 
with uh, a white boat, some baggies, wax, and tweezers. So that that's that was nice. <laughs> and oh yeah, there's oh my gosh, I can't wait for you to see this one. This is taped. You can see the little Nilla tape that they've used. It's not the clear. It's just the little Nilla tape, and it it comes off really easy, which is wonderful. I'll put that tape right there. We'll take and you may have seen the picture. I don't know. Nope. I don't think you could see the picture yet. So ha 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 ha. You're having to wait a little bit. It's more of a surprise, and I'm I'm happy that it's taped. Don't you see? Using that wider tape, it's just much better. All right. And so it was wrapped around the foam, a little foam. It's a 35 by 40. And just what, and it did come with, I'm not going to show you pictures, uh, inventory sheet. Yes. Let me move these little babies. So now they're in my way. Babies, you are in my way. Youngins, you got to get out of the way. Okay, and I'm using the corner of my, the edge of my desk to unroll it. And so, and it still rolls up. So, I'm going to go ahead and, usually these that are, have the white backing paper, I end up putting them under my pile over there. All of those are the ones with the white backing paper. And the other, the, you know, the others are usually just rolled back up and flattened out later. Do you? Can you? I know my, I have, I have some um, glare issue here. I don't know if you'll be able to see. It's got lines in it. It's my, see how it's, it's my window. Sorry about that. Hold on for one second and I will close this the sun is just right and it's it's not helped it any i am so sorry let me maybe move it like right there can you see that do you see what that is it's two little girls aren't they the cutest things they're so precious and there's nothing wrong with this canvas really nice I don't see any issues there's there's a few little wrinkles here in the glue but hardly anything to even mention you know but uh, I hope this glare I've got my desk wrong for the daytime it's set up for the nighttime <laughs> I need to put brighter lights in my light so okay i'm going to put this back down and show you the bottom half and right now i'll show you what it really is supposed to look like and i've got these foam things underneath it wanting to stick to it it wants to mess up it's just determined to mess me up. <laughs> so, so they are very cute. They look like little twins, don't they? I don't know if they are, but oh, don't tear the backing. Careful. Go slower. Go slower. They're so their hair is all done up, and. They've got little booties on, little pretty dresses. You can't really tell what colors their dresses and everything's going to be with this company. They must just um, lightly tint it the way it's going to be. But most of the, the um, symbols and everything are dark. Um, it looks like the symbols are going to be pretty good to where they won't... Um, be confusing or hard to see. Let's see, is it square? Yes, it is square. And I'm going to come up close to the camera and see if you can, if it will focus on 
the symbols on there. And so you can kind of see how little the symbols are and what they look like. You probably can't hear me, but anyway, I was whispering almost. Um, so we will look at the, so that we will look at the, um, the drills now, the diamonds. That was so weird to say drills. Diamonds are, you know, and, okay, they're all loose. They are loose, so we will have, I will have to go through and count them. And I bet you dollar I got something else in the mail up there and I didn't go check it. Now watch me do this video. <laughs> Leave, I gotta take my truck to get it washed before, we're go, before I go on my trip. And... Got to pick up dog food again, and some some things at my pharmacist. So here is my. I am so sorry for that. I'm gonna have to part different inventory sheets. What I'm trying to say. This is the inventory sheet, and you can see the little picture here. What it's gonna be, and then you can see the symbols. And let's see if it says it's got 39 colors. So as for a 30 by 40, is it yeah, it's a 30 by 40. 39 colors for a a picture that's pretty much not I mean to me it must have a lot of lights and darks of the same colors, you know. But yeah, I'm trying to get it close enough to where you can see what the colors and pattern is of their dress. So, anyways, so I will have to check off these, but I will show you the colors. We've got, you know, obviously we've got a um, off-white, a blue, a brick color, and a teal color, a darker teal color, um, that's a darker brick color, a dark, dark brown, and then we've got this is a very dark teal, <laughs> got some mauves, it's another purpley mauve, I don't know if you're able to see, I'm so sorry, not a good time I have the hardest time letting you see colors of the drills because of lighting really got to it. I have a weird room I have north light which is great for artwork I shouldn't park right there but because the closet door is here and I, I just it's hard to figure out how I'm gonna pre position this room. It's one of these awkward rooms that for this kind of setup, you want that northern light to come in um, and then you have your <clears throat> artificial light. I don't have my little lamp that I usually use on here. I forgot to put that up. But, um, you know how that goes. And... Really nice colors in this picture. I really fell in love with it when I saw it. And I was like, well, you know, I've got so many kids' pictures. <laughs> People's going to stop wanting to watch me. All she gets is kids' pictures. I want to see something else. Yeah, and it used to be tigers. And I'm, I, had a, I have a lot of black bears. I have them scattered in my house. Um, so, yeah. so a lot of this is the green, seafoam greens, uh, variations of, of green, uh, dusty green, and the mauves and the, the colors. It's just really a pretty colors. 
unusual colors that you don't normally see because I've had a lot of primary colors here lately and antique primary colors. So this is this is a good change. Good change, don't you think? So now I'm going to put this aside. What am I hearing? Oh, it's my labs out there barking. Okay. First I thought the kids, the grandchildren were outside. I was like, well, one's went to school. But anyways, all right, we are going to open the big package. This one's so very dear to my heart. And I hope it is, blesses you too. My husband's cousin has a company called Tract, Tracts Inc. T-R-A-C-T-S Inc. I-N-C. And they have got a new design of tracts for Christmas to give out with your Christmas gifts. You, put them in, you can put them in your Christmas cards if you give out Christmas cards and I'm going to move over. Don't break nothing. Okay. Now that's a little better, I think. Oh, photo. What in the world? Come here. I want you to look. Do you see what's happened? What's the matter, Frodo? When did you start getting earrings? You just got the one in the left ear. <laughs> you silly fella. You want me to get it out? One of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life was he had gotten into my daughter's plate she accidentally left on the floor one year. And I, I, I fussed at him. I said, what are you doing? What are you? And it was like he gave me this look like, what? What did I do? And he had a macaroni piece stuck in his beard at that time we had him with a little beard and it was it was so funny it was like who, who who's talking about macaroni i don't know what you're talking about <laughs> top thing and if i can find that picture i'll post it right here he's he's a joker I'm telling you anyways okay i was gonna bust this but it might be too loud on there he likes to act like i'm shooting him he runs around like I'm shooting him. <laughs> Anyways, here, here are bookmarks that she put in there for me. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth. Romans 1, 16. Published by Trax Inc. P.O. Box 24782. Chattanooga, Tennessee 37422. And you can email them at tracksinc, T-R-A-C-T-S-I-N-C, at yahoo.com. Or find them on the web at www.tracksinc, T-R-A-C-T-S-I-N-C, dot com. And this is a wonderful uh, bookmark that you can give people, hand people out. It says on the back, God loves you, for God so loved the world, John 3, 16. And it goes all into the Romans road. Uh, you have sinned, for all have sinned, for the wages of sin is death. You hear my bird in there. For the wages of sin is death, Romans 3, 23, 6, 23. The wages payment for sin is being punished in a place called hell after you die. Jesus, who is God, the Father, the Son, Jesus, who is God the Son, if I can talk, paid for your sins by dying on the cross. Christ died for our sins. 1 Corinthians 15, 3. He gave his blood for you. Jesus was buried and God raised him from the dead. He rose again the third day. 1 Corinthians 15 and 4. He is alive today. He can forgive your sins and save you. God can give you a home in heaven when you die. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Romans 10, 13. Call to him in faith, believing he can save you. 
God, I'm sorry for my sins. I believe Jesus died, was buried, and rose again for me. Save me. I ask in Jesus' name. Amen. And all of that is on the back that you can give a loved one, family member, or stranger. You can put these down in the stockings at Walmart that are for sale. Um, you can slide them in boxes if there's a hole. Um, I'll tell you some more about that in just a second. Just give me some Romans Road tracks. Oh my goodness, thank you. Romans Road, that's, that's your salvation road, highway to heaven. And it gives you all the information inside this track. And it, and no one can say they haven't been told about the love of the Lord. And it's all in here. And the information on the back that they need. Uh, pray. Read the Bible. Attend church if you can find. If you have a church that is run by the Lord and... Uh, I prefer a King James Bible-believing church uh, and one that's not incorporated so the government can't tell them what to say. They'll, they'll threaten them with tax, that, removing their tax exemption uh, status if they preach against, let's say, a social issue or uh, a presidential candidate. You know what I'm saying. They can they they think that they can they can do that, but by law, by our constitution, just because you're a church, you're already tax exempt. You don't have to fill out and become a formal incorporated church. They make you think you have to do that, and see that's how they control those churches that do. Um, and the reason they do that is because they want a business in the church to where they're they're paying um, their workers. And, you know, if they're conducting it like a business, then they think they have to do it like a business. So um, there's other ways around that where it's it's uh, legitimate through the Constitution of the United States and cannot be punished for it. But, you know, that's a whole other thing that's not diamond painting, and I don't want to get off on that. So um, this is the main thing that I was looking forward to. I love all of this, but they have a new design, a very new design for Christmas. And it says, Jesus is the reason for Christmas. And they have it highlighted Christ in the word Christmas. And he is the reason for the season. And so it says on the back, Jesus is the greatest gift of all for God so... I ran over my 25 minute mark, I think. So I'm going to go back. It says on the back, Jesus is the greatest gift of all. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3, 16. And there's a reason why begotten should be in that verse. Because when you're saved, you become sons of God. You become adopted into his family. So that would make you a son of God. If it said his only son, that would be a lie. He has lots of sons, those saved by the blood of Jesus. His begotten son is the one he's specifically talking about going to the cross in our place. And washing away our sins. He went in our place where our sin. And this is the way I tell kids. Your mom don't want you in the house when you have mud all over you. Okay? Our sin is like the mud. And your mama's going to say, you're going to clean up right there before you come in the house. You're not bringing that mud and sitting on my furniture and in my nice pristine house. No, you're going to, I'm going to give you your clothes right here and you're going to change and you're going to and a wash cloth and some water or whatever and you're going to wash right there because you're nasty. Well, our sin, we're born in it because of the fall of man. 
it separates us from him because he's so perfect. He cannot physically, physically, mathematically, he cannot be in the presence of sin. So, he, just like he sent the covering for Adam and Eve instead of fig leaves, because they tried to do it themselves. They tried to say, oh, I'm sorry, Lord. We, we're gonna, we, we put fig leaves on us, so that way we wouldn't be standing here naked in front of you. And the Lord says, wait a minute, I'm the judge. I, I, I tell you how it, it has to be to get you close to me again. I provide the soap. I provide the covering, is what he was saying. And on, my, on his terms, not the person who... It's like a judge. It's like a thief or a murderer in um, a court case. Now that turned on. A thief and murderer in a court case don't pronounce his own sentence. A judge tells him what he is guilty of, and then the judge sentences him for what his penalty will be for what he done. Not the, the guilty party doesn't tell the judge, well, okay, this is what I'll do to make it right. It just don't work that way. So the Lord sent an innocent animal. We don't know what it was, but I like to think it's a lamb. And it covers, it, he, it had to shed its blood to cover their nakedness. Now, when we stand before the Lord, it's like we're naked because He sees our heart, all the way into our heart. He sees our sins. He sees everything, but He wants, He's looking to see if your heart and everything about you has wanted His Son, who came and died innocently to cover you, to cover the world uh, and, and wash, wash their sins away. He provided the soap. Your Bible tells you when you've messed up, when you've made a mistake. The Lord has given you a guide. You can't, nobody can do everything in that Bible and be absolutely perfect. The only one that did was Jesus. He walked just like us, come down here, willingly left heaven. And the reason I tell you he was in heaven and came down and become a baby and grew up just like us having no sin at all is because when he made man in his he said let us let us make man in our image that's plural jesus was there when, he walked, when they walked through the garden, Adam and Eve walked in the cool of the day. He walked with them. He's the angel of the Lord. Whenever you read in your Bible and it talks about the angel of the Lord coming down, that's Jesus. He's the angel of the Lord. Okay? Anyways, when you have this mud, you're reading the Bible, and you see that you have dirt on your face or you have sin, you realize whenever you love someone and you've done something wrong to them it feels so bad you you get remorseful you become repentant I don't want to ever do this to this person ever again I don't want to ever do that because I love them and I, I that was a mistake when you become that way and you have read the Lord's Word and you're look that's your mirror you're looking in the mirror and you see dirt on your face when you go out and you look in that mirror and you got something all over your face like maybe you need to wipe your nose or something or wash your face, got dirt, you're not going to go on out on a date or, or whatever. You're going to wash your face. That's what your Bible, the Word of the Lord is for. Is for. It's, to, it's to convict you let you see, oh, I need to ask for forgiveness for this. This was not right. I just, that's what that is. And so this is why I love this. It's because at Christmas time, you can give this in a Christmas card. This could be your Christmas card. You could take it to your family gathering for Christmas and hand it out to everybody. 
or give them a stack of them. And you know, kids love to help go put these, hide these all over the grocery store. The liquor aisle, <laughs> I call it the liquor aisle, you can put these in the handles and you never know who may have needed a, an uplift to know that someone loved them. Even if they're, they might be by themselves and the only thing they got is that box of beer and they open it up and there they've got this. You know what I'm saying? And so it explains the real reason of Christmas in here. It is King James scripture and it's, it's wonderful. Look at that design on there. It's just so, so pretty. So we go and we put them in pockets and coats on the rack. We've put them um, in magazines on the racks. Um, stockings, just put them down in the stockings. And so when somebody comes and buys them. And then after Christmas, a lot of times those stockings get put, put up and sent to another country or whatever. You never know where it's going to go and somebody may get it. You never know. And so if you're a born, in, born again Christian like I am, you're going to end up in heaven one day. And you may have people walking up to you in heaven saying, you know what? I read the track that you put in that coat such and such day. And I asked Jesus into my heart. And I'm here in heaven because you took the time to do so. That would, that's, it makes it all wonderful. Loving each other. There's nothing wrong with this. Some people watching may be offended that I've, that I've shown this. I'm sorry if you are. I don't mean to offend anyone. I would rather you be with me in heaven than anywhere else after you die. If I'm wrong, I haven't lost anything. But if you gamble and think there's no heaven and find out you're wrong when you die, you've lost a lot. And I wouldn't want to be that person. And I, I love all of you, every one of you, I do. And I ask the Lord to help you in all, everything you want to do with, and to help you see the, uh, the right ways and the best ways to do things so that way your life will be happy. And, and whenever you do have to go through hard times, and all of us do, He will be holding your hand and comforting you and holding you up. So, as you're going through it, you'll be fine, even though it th you think that the world is just, it's just, there's no way to get through it. You'll be fine because he's got, when you're saved, he places you in his hand. God places you in the palm of his hand. Jesus puts his hand over top of you and you're sitting, you're laying, you're in his, his hand. Nothing, nothing can happen to you that you and him can't get to go through together together you and him though you might be by yourself here on earth you have the lord you have a great bodyguard and he says there's nothing nothing you can do to pluck you out of his hand ever after you've wholeheartedly with all your heart and soul and love and strength love him love his son and ask for him to uh, wash you of your sins and thank him for standing in our place, my place. Those footprints up Calvary's hill had the weight of my sin on his shoulder. And what else can I do to help my Lord Jesus is to tell everybody about him. I stay at home. What can I do to help? Oh, buddy. He sent me people along the way to help. He has. And I'm so thankful he has. Sometimes it's been very hard. Emotional. It's been very hard. But you know what? I want him to smile when he thinks of me. 
I want him to be happy. And if I could have gave him a little bit of water on the way to the cross, just a sip, but I can't. My way is by telling you how much I love him, how much he means to me. There's not enough words. There's no words in existence. I struggle every day. Lord, I can't think of the words to tell you how great you are and wonderful that it's not in existence. But he knows we love him. And I love you. And I hope that you, I'll put the information down below on this company. And I also have another one called Kristen's Friends, which I will uh, do another video on, on Kristen's Friends uh, later on. Because this one is Christmas, I wanted to go ahead and get this one in for you in case you did want to participate and get and order some of these. You just tell them what you what you want, and um, the Lord will take care of it. So I will put the information. Look for the information down in the details below. Thank you for watching. I hope you did not get offended. Uh, no one talking about the Lord ever had wants to offend uh, they want to tell the truth and sometimes you know the truth even if you're telling the truth to somebody even if it's not about being saved or anything like that sometimes it hurts even whenever you're trying to tell them say hey look maybe you shouldn't take that medicine or maybe you shouldn't uh talk like that to someone or maybe you were a little bit harsh to so and so or you know, when you're trying to help your friends to understand, um, sometimes they don't understand it and they get offended. Most of the time they do. It's a human nature. We all do. Um, pray that the Lord will help them to see. Uh, I really hope that this has been touch. This is touching for you. And I hope that you let them know at Tracts Inc. that... Mim's House, Lara Martin, sent you. Uh, they are on Facebook. So send them a message. Tell them uh, that you're interested in the tracks for Christmas. They had to print more because they sold out. So many people wanted them. So they did. They are printing more. And they will get them out to you in time to, to, to uh, give them out to everybody. And hide them in things in grocery stores. I mean... It, Kids love it. They love doing that. They, they have it everywhere. I mean, you, there's all kinds of neat places. And if you have panhandlers or homeless or anyone on the side of the road asking for anything, um, put a dollar bill, five dollars, ten dollar bill in the track, have them waiting in your truck and roll down the window and hand it to them. If they're on the up and up, that's great. If they're not on the up and up and they use it to go buy drinks or whatever, then that's on their head. You gave them the gospel because you love them. You want, I don't want to see anybody not make it to heaven. I just don't want to see anybody not make it to heaven. I want you with me forever and we can talk and it's just going to be great. So anyways, I've been long-winded long enough. Look for the details. Thank you. I love you. Make sure that you subscribe and tell your friends about it. I'll see you next time.